ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله والسلام عليه اما بعد يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله واحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد يا عباد الله الحمد لله على نعمه الاسلام والسنه all praise and thanks belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the bounty of al-islam and the bounty of the sunnah for his bounty in which he bestowed upon us to guide us to al-islam and for guiding us to the sunnah qala al-allama الشيخ صالح الفوزان حفظه الله تعالى كثير من المسلمين اعتادوا ان يخرجوا زكاه اموالهم في شهر رمضان لاجل شرف الزمان ومضاعفه الاجر وهذا شيء طيب ونرجو الله لهم القبول the shaykh hafizullah ta'ala he says that many of the muslims they are in the habit and it is their practice to give this zakat to pay the zakat in the month of ramadan and this is due to the auspicious occasion and the nobility and honor that this month has and due to the increasement of the reward and this is something that is good this is something that is good and we hope that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he accepts it from them the shaykh hafizullah ta'ala he goes on and he says walakin and yuzakku amwalahum alayhim and yuzakku anfusahum wa an yuzakku abadanahum thumma yuzakku amwalahum the shaykh hafizullah ta'ala he says that they give their monies this is something that is good but walakin qabl an yazakku but before they give their monies they have to purify themselves and purify their bodies and then they should give their money and purify their wealth wa amma zakatu nafs and with regards to that zakat of the nafs yakunu bi ta'at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then this will be by them being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa tarku al-ma'asihi and by leaving and abandoning his disobedience was zakat and it's important for us to know and to understand this that zakat ma'naha 
At-tahara That zakah The meaning of it Is purity Aw Min ma'aniha Or this is from its meanings At-tahara To purify فَيُطَهِّرُ abd nafsa. So the slave, he will purify himself. Purify himself from what? Min ayy shay? Min dhunub. From sins. Wasayyiat. And evil deeds. Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala, he says, Wa nafsin wa ma sawaha. And by the nafs, and by the one who has perfected it in his portions. Fa'alhamaha. Fujuraha wa taqwaha And then showed him what is right or showed him what is wrong from that which is right. Qad aflaha man zakkaha That verily, indeed he is successful, the one who purifies it, the one who purifies his soul, the one who purifies his self, then he is successful. وَقَدَ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا And indeed, he who falls into corruption, he who corrupts and who pollutes his own self, then verily, this is the one who he is lost. This is the one who loses out. This is the one who fails. This is the one who is a loser. The one who fails to rectify himself, the one who pollutes himself. Aflaha man zakkaha. He is successful, the one who he purifies himself. Zakka nafsa. He purifies himself by way of what? The a'mal. The a'mal of saliha. With the righteous good deeds. Taharaha min al dhunub wa sayyiat. He purifies them. From the sins, he purifies them from the evil actions, the tawbah, by way of repentance, by way of repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, a'mal of saliha, and he purifies himself by doing the righteous good deeds. Hada hu al muflih. This is the one who is successful. This is the one who is successful. Wa amma man ahmala nafsa. But as far as the one who he is neglectful of himself. He neglects himself. وَضَيَّعَهَا And he loses himself. فَأَعْطَاهَا مَا تَشْتَهِي So he gives to his self, he gives to his soul, whatever it desires. مِنِ الْكَسَلْ From laziness. وَالْخُمُولْ And from inactivity. وَنَيْلِ الشَّهْوَاتِ And for giving in to every vain desire. فَهَابَ خَابَ then this is the one who fails. This is the one who is at loss. خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا He is a failure. He is a loser. He is at loss. He has failed. The one who corrupts his soul. The one who pollutes his soul. He is at loss. مَا عَنَّهُ يَظُنْ أَنَّهُ يُكْرِمُهَا And this is even with the fact that he thinks that he is honoring himself. الإنسان عندما يعطي نفسه ما تشتهي ويطيعه فيما تأمره به يظن أنه زكاها The human being he thinks and he believes that he is honoring himself he is being good to himself when he gives his soul whatever it desires when he obeys whatever it commands, he thinks that he is purifying himself. He thinks that he is being good to himself. He thinks he is being good to himself at a time when in actuality he is corrupting himself. And at a time when he is polluting himself. فَإِنَّهُ هُوَ الَّذِي زَكَّاهَا التَّسْكِيَةَ الصَّحِيحَا But the one who he controls himself and he makes himself subservient and he makes himself cling 
to the obedience of Allah and to that which is pleasing to Allah and the abandonment of that which is haram, then verily this is the one who in actuality he purifies himself. This is the one who in actuality he purifies himself with a correct purification. And he cleans himself from sin. He cleans himself from evil actions of disobedience. And this is the one who he increases himself. He improves himself. And from the meanings of zakah is anama. From the meaning of zakah, then also it means to improve and increase and in development. So you find that zakah is an improvement, it's a development, it's an increasement. So when he increased and he develops his actions, when he decreased his righteous good deeds, then verily, this is the one who is purifying himself. So it is incumbent upon an individual that he deems it as important, he deems it as something that is vital, the purification of his soul, the purification of himself, the cleansing and the cleaning of, it, of himself. With a hadith, and it comes inside of a hadith for tremendous dua. Allahumma ati nafsi taqwaha wa zakiha anta khayru man zakaha anta waliyuha wa mawlaha. The tremendous dua. O oh Allah, give to our soul, O oh Allah, give to my soul its piety and purify it. For verily you are the best one to purify it. You are the guardian of it and the one who watches over it. You are the guarding of it and the one who watches over it, the one who it is in his charge. It is important, ya ibad, that we purify ourselves. But with regards to the one who he praises himself, he praises himself, speaks good about himself, Praises himself with falsehood. فَقَدَ قَالَ اللَّهِ جَلَّ وَعَلَىٰ Then Allah Jalla وَعَلَىٰ He has said about these ones. فَلَا تَزَكُّوا أَنفُسَكُمْ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنْ اتَّقَىٰ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the one who he soups himself up. He lies to himself. He makes himself believe that he is that which he is not. He praises himself with that which he is not due. Allah Ta'ala, He says, then do not praise yourselves. For verily, He is most knowledgeable, meaning He, Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is the one who is most knowledgeable. He knows best those who truly have taqwa. He knows best those who truly fear Him. So no matter what you can bring to yourself from good words, what praise you may bring to yourself, what good speech you may say about yourself, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows those who truly fear Him. So do not verbally appraise, do not verbally praise yourselves. Do not praise yourselves. What bi a'malikum. Nor be impressed and amazed with your actions. Because this is something that Allah he has prohibited. Inna to zakki nafsak bil a'mal al-saliha. But rather, that which you will give taskiyah, that which, 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 which you will give this taskiyah for yourself by way of, that it will be your righteous good deeds and not any lip service. Not lip service. Praising yourself. Complimenting yourself. No. But that which will bring a true tazkiyah, 
a true cleansing and purity to oneself, it will be by way of his righteous good deeds. Tashkurullah. And you have to praise Allah upon that. ففي الحقيقة أن الله هو الذي زكاها. You have to praise Allah because in reality it is Allah who has purified you. In reality it is Allah who has sanctified you. حيث وفقك لتسكيتها بالأعمال الصالحة. From the standpoint that Allah has given you the success. In purifying yourself and bringing sanctity to it by way of righteous good deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, Alam tara ila ladina yuzakuna anfusahu, belillahu yuzaki min yashau, wala yadlamun, wala yadlamuna fatila. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, What means? And have you not seen those who sanctify themselves? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayah, as the ulama tafsir, they explain, he's speaking about the Jews and the Christians, those kufar that sanctify themselves, that walk around as if they are holier than thou, those who believe that the Jannah is only for them. And if you want to go to the Jannah, you have to be a Jew or Christian. But that is from their vain wishing desires. We know this is not the case. But these are those who may sanctify themselves and they claim for themselves sanctity. Allah Ta'ala, He says, but rather it is Allah who sanctifies whom He pleases. It is Allah who sanctifies whom He pleases and no one is oppressed. No one is dealt with unjustly. No one is wronged. Allah sanctifies whom He pleases. But you may find from the Jews and the Christians those who sanctify themselves. Even denominations of Christians who call themselves sanctified. An individual, he'll become sanctified by what? By righteous good deeds. Those righteous good deeds that are built upon Tawheed. Because that which is not built upon Tawheed is not a good deed. The Shaykh Hafizullah Ta'ala, he goes on and he says, فَعَلَيْكَ أَيُّهَا الْمُسْلِمْ أَنْ يُزَكِّيَ نَفْسَكَ بِالْأَعْمَالُ الصَّالِحَةِ He says, so therefore, O Muslim, it is upon you to bring a tasqiyah to yourself, to sanctify yourself by way of righteous good deeds. بِأَعْدَاءِ الْفَرَائِضُ By doing those things that are obligatory. By carrying out the obligations. وَاشْتِنَابِ الْمُحَرَّمَاتِ And staying away from those things that are haram will ikthar min ta'ah and by increasing in obedience fursatuka fil hadhi al haya al zaila this is your opportunity now this is your opportunity in this life that is fleeting this is your opportunity in this life that is passing away this is your opportunity to gain good for yourself in a short period of your life to strive hard. To strive hard with the earnest of striving hard. Because how many is it of the people who they delude themselves, they lie to themselves, they trick themselves, they be lied. The reality. And they say, well, I'm trying my best. But they know deep down in actuality, they are not really trying their best. So it is incumbent for us, Ya Ibad, to earnestly try our best in this life that we have, in this life that we have been given to gain some benefit for ourselves. To strive in this fleeting life of ours to make a tazkiyah, to make that tazkiyah al-matlubah, to bring that tazkiyah that is sought after, that is wanted, that is intended, to bring that true tazkiyah for ourselves, to purify our souls. And to strive with the purification of our souls in this short life that we have been given. وَأَمَّا تَسْكِيَ بِالْمَدْحِ وَتَسْكِيَ بِالْثَنَاءِ عَلَى نَفْسِ وَالْإِعْجَابِ بِالْأَعْمَالِ هَذِهِ تَسْكِيَ بَعْضِلَةِ But as, with, as it relates to the tasqiyah of praising ourselves, 
complimenting ourselves, speaking well about ourselves, being impressed with our actions, then this is a tazkiyah that is erroneous. Tazkiyah ba'atila. This is a tazkiyah that's erroneous. Because if your actions are contrary to that which is correct, there's no amount of verbal praise that's going to help you. There's no amount of verbal praise that's going to help you, whether it comes for yourself or it comes from others. If your actions contradict this verbal praise, if your actions contradict the teskia, then the teskia it will not help you. Even if that teskia is from the greatest scholar on the earth living at this time, it will not help you if your actions are in contradiction to the truth. So the one who is belied, the one who is dazzled, the one who is confused, the one who has been led astray into falsely believing that this verbal praise of his means something when his actions are in contrary to the haq. Then the shaykh he says, sahibuha khaib wa khasir. Then the owner of this the one in this situation, then he is one who is a loser. He is one who has lost out. He is one who has failed. And thus Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, فَلَا تَزَكُّوا أَنفُسَكُمْ هُوَ أَعْلَمُ بِمَنْ اتَّقَى And do not praise yourselves because verily Allah he knows best those who truly fear him. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who truly fear him. Hada aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum fastaghfiru fa innahu huwa al-ghafuru rahim. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ba'd. Wa naw al-thani. The second type of tazkiyah, which is important, tazkiyah to bedin, it's the purifying of our bodies. وَذَلِكَ بِدِفْعِ الزَّكَاةِ الْفِطْرِ And from the ways of this is by paying the zakat al-fitr. The payment of zakat al-fitr after the fasting of Ramadan, Sadaqat al Fitr is the Sadaqa of Fitr, Zakat al Fitr. When he is Zakat al Badan, Walidalika Tajibu ala Kuli Muslim, Raniyan Khan, Aw Fakiran, it is obligatory upon all the Muslims, whether they are rich or whether they are poor, Bakaran Khan, Aw Untha. Whether they are males or whether they are females, Hurran Khan, Aw Abadan, whether they are free or whether they are slaves. The Annaha Zakatul Badan, because it's a zakah, it's a purification of the body. Wahada Badan, Alladi Aataka Allahu Iya, Warakabahu Min Aada, Walkuwa. وَالْتَرْكِيبِ الْعَجِيبِ And this is that body that Allah has given you. And He has put it together from its limbs, organs, and everything that entails that we are made of in a most amazing way. We are put together in a most amazing way. From our fingertips to our hairs and everything that is inside and so on and so forth, we're put together in the most amazing way. This also needs that it has to be purified. Our bodies. For Sadaqa to Fitr, Zakat. So they're paying the charity of Fitr, then this is Zakat. This is Zakat, this is impurity. For our bodies. And it is a saw of food. A saw of food 
that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He has made it obligatory upon every Muslim that He gives it out at the end of Ramadan. That He gives it out. And as we want to stress, it's a food. This is a, is, this is a zakat type that is given out in food, not money, but in food. The Shaykh he says, فَلْيَعْتَنِي And Muslim بِهَذِهِ الزَّكَاةِ So it is incumbent that a Muslim, he's very serious and he pays close concern with this zakat. وَيُؤَدِّيهَا مِنْ كَسْبِ الطَّيِّبِ And that he gives it out from good earnings. From good earnings, not haram earnings. Not earnings because you sell cigarettes or pork skins or malt beverages, alcoholic malt beverages. Or you sell ham and these haram things. No, not the earnings that come because you own a shisha bar. Or you have some shares in a casino. These are all from haram earnings. No. That you pay the zakah and you buy this food from halal earnings. From a halal job. Not a haram job. A halal job. Because that's what's going to benefit you. That's what's going to benefit you. There's no benefit in haram earnings, but rather there is their in detriment, rather there is their in harm. There is their in harm for you. Alakulliha. It has to come from good earnings. You addiha lil fuqara wal masakin that you give it for the fuqara and the masakin. Fiwaqtiha. You give it at its time. You don't pay zakat to fitr and sha'ban. And you don't pay Zakat al-Fitr after the Eid. But you give it in its time. The last couple of days of Ramadan that you give it in its time. You give out the food at that time. And this is a purification for the body. And the third type, which usually comes to our mind when we hear the word Zakat, is the Zakat al-Mal. The purifying of the money. The payment of the money. وَإِنَّمَا تَجِبُ عَلَى الْأَغْنِيَاءِ and this is only incumbent upon the rich. الَّذِينَ عِنْدَهُمْ أَمْوَالِ Those who have money. تَبْلُغُ النِّصَابِ فَأَكْثَرُ Those who their money has reached the minimal level, the minimal amount, and then beyond that of which has sat for a year, then you have to pay zakat. You see, Islam is a deen that is just. Islam doesn't overtax or tax the poor and then leave the rich alone. But no, it is the rich who have to pay the zakat. And it is the poor who receive those earnings, who receive that money. And it is not upon the poor to pay zakat because they are poor. It is not upon the needy to pay the zakat because they are poor. And this is from the superiorities of the deen of Al-Islam. Because you find in the kafir way, those who earn the least, they the ones who are taxed the most. And this is another indication to show you the falsity, to show you the corruptness in the lifestyle, and in the way of life, and in the methodology of the kuffar. They have nothing to offer us. But they have everything to gain by accepting Islam. And this is the reality. And this payment of the zakat, it is a way by which we draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is incumbent for the mu'min to believe that he is drawing near to Allah ta'ala by fulfilling an obligation, by fulfilling a pillar from the pillars of the deen of al-Islam. It is not a penalty. You see the hypocrites, they see the payment of zakat as being a penalty. That's how they see it. But the payment of zakat, they said, مغرمن. It's not a penalty, but rather it's an opportunity, but rather it is مغنم. It is an opportunity, it is that which enriches us. It is that we are enriched by way of it. It is that we are increased by way of it. Our monies are developed by way of it. 
until you find that those who pay the zakat, those who are striving, those who are diligent, those who are worried about paying the zakat, you will find that these individuals, they do not go broke. But the miser, you find the miser, he is the one who is the most destitute. He is the one who is the poorest from the people. So it is incumbent, ya ibad, that we strive. Those whom Allah Ta'ala has blessed them with money to pay the zakat. To pay that zakat so that it may reach the poor. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, He has identified and He has made it known and He has restricted those who are the recipients of zakat. And I want everyone to hear this. And I want them to understand, and I want them to understand well, that the, the, the zakat money is only to be given to a specific type of people. It is not permissible to take the zakat mal, to take zakat money, and then spend it on the expenses of the masjid, or to spend it on the development or the expansion of the masjid or to spend it on the pavement or the purchase of a parking lot or whatever. No, the money of zakat, it is to be given to specific people. As far as the other sadaqat, then that's something that is different. But zakat to mal is only to be given to specific people. And it is a must that we have integrity and we demand integrity and that we pay the zakat to those who it belongs to. It does not belong to the expansion of the masjid. It does not belong to the payment of the parking lot. It does not belong to overhead expenses. It belongs to those whom Allah has mentioned. They are as Allah Ta'ala, He says. إِنَّمَا الصَّدَقَاتُ لِلْفُقَرَاءُ وَالْمَسَاكِينَ that verily the sadaqat, meaning the zakat, it is for the poor and it is for the needy. وَالْعَامِلِينَ عَلَيْهَا And for those who work in collecting the zakat, those who it is their job to, to collect the zakat and distribute the zakat, then they are entitled to receive from the zakat. وَمُؤَلِّفَةِ الْقُلُوبُهُمْ And those who you want to bring their hearts closer, meaning those from the kuffar, who you want to bring their hearts closer, you want to be nice to them, to soften them, to hear about and listen about Islam. This is the way. This is the way. This is from the ways of giving da'wah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us legislative ways of giving da'wah to reaching out. To connecting to the kuffar who live in our society. To reach out and to connect to the non-Muslims who we may live amongst. From these ways is by what? is by spending on them from the zakat to mal to open them up and to soften their hearts. Mu'allafati qulubu To bring their hearts close. That's how you bring their hearts close, ya ibad. Not by inner faith. You don't bring their hearts together by inner faith. By saying how much we are like. By saying we ain't really that different. By saying you okay, I'm okay, we all okay. He okay, she okay, we okay. That's not how you bring their hearts close. That's how you hurt them. Because when you come to them like that, why would they ever accept Islam? If you Muslim is telling them they okay, they gonna be in Jannah. So why are they gonna accept Islam for? But is what you're telling them the reality? Is your lies and deceit and deception of them the reality? Telling them they okay? They're not okay. Allah Ta'ala, He says, in Medina and Allah Islam. That verily the only religion that's accepted by Allah is Islam. وَمَنْ يَبْتَعِي غَيْرِ إِسْلَامِ دِينًا فَلَا يُخْبَلَ مِنْ وَهُوَ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ الْخَاسِرِينَ And that whoever desires other than the deen of Al-Islam, it will never ever be accepted from them. And in the hereafter, they will be from the losers. In the hereafter, those Jews, those Christians, who did not accept the call of Muhammad wasallam, they will be in the hellfire. And they will be from the losers. So how harmful, how destructive, how awful are you to the Muslims, or are you to the Jews and the Christians when you have this inner faith dialogue? And you're lying to them, deceiving them, tricking them. They don't know. They 
don't know these ayat. And you as a Muslim who read the Quran, you're not telling them. You're not informing them of what will benefit them. And then you smile in their face and you drink tea and eat cake with them. Shame on you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he goes on and he says, وَفِي الرِّقَابِ And the zakat money is for the pain and the freeing of the slaves. You understand that? The free the slaves. The Muslims were commanded and encouraged to take from their wealth, to take from zakat to mal, to buy slaves and set them free. Free the slaves. So you want to talk about an abolitionist in abolition? All the khair you find, all the khair. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala points us to it in the deen of Al-Islam. So we encourage with the freeing of the slaves. Wal mean and those who are in debt. Wal ghadimeen fi sabirillah. وَابْنِ السَّبِيلِ And those who they are in debt, and those who are fighting in the way of Allah, and to the wayfarer. The wayfarer is the one who he's traveling, and he may have money back in his country, he may have money, may be wealthy, he may have what he needs back in his country, but he's traveling and he finds himself in a bad situation, destitute situation, and he doesn't have access to his wealth. So we can help him out from the zakat money. Fariyadwatan. Fariyadwatan min Allah. Wallahu alimun hakim. This is a duty that is imposed by Allah. And Allah is the all knower, the all wise. These are those who are eligible to receive zakat mal. Anyone that is not mentioned in this ayah, he is not eligible to receive zakat mal. So don't give it to him. Don't accept that it be given to them. Don't accept that it will be utilized for that. But make sure that you are asking, make sure you are pressing those who collect the zakat, those who you hand over the zakat to, to distribute in, on your behalf, that they're giving it to the right people. That they're giving it to the right people. Because this is what we have been commanded to do. This is what Allah has made obligatory upon us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who truly fear Him. Those who purify themselves by way of righteous good deeds. Those who pay the zakat al-fitr, the way it should be paid at the time it should be paid. And those whom, if they are blessed with wealth, who pay the zakat al-mal, and are diligent and serious about the payment of zakat mal those who are happy about the payment of zakat mal and the purifying of their wealth and development of their wealth and increasement of their wealth, those who truly fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hada aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirali wa lakum wa aqimu salah wa inna salata tanha'a anil fashai wal munkar.